Alrighty, we're back to playing some more Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu. And uh, we finally made it to Purity City. Uh, before we begin, I just want to go ahead and start with another uh, rousing Pokemon song. Another one of my favorites. <clears throat> so you want to be a master of Pokemon? Do you have the skills to be number one? We all live in a Pokemon world. Pokemon. I want to be the greatest master of them all. Greatest master. We all live in a Pokemon world. Pokemon. Sorry. We're going to get a little bit of songs like uh, here and there. But, you know, it's like at least my favorites that I remember from my childhood. I know. My sing is terrible, but I love that song. So, uh, what we have here. Okay, so. Got an artist. We need a grass type. Uh, cause we're gonna be dealing with a rock type. Uh, so we only got absorb growth and acid. Pikachu is not good against rock. So you know what we're gonna do? We are going to definitely because back when I was a kid, it was a, I thought it was like annoying. I didn't know better at the time. But I thought it was no, annoying that I had to because I tried my best to maneuver around those uh, people that you run into in the gyms before you get to the gym leader in battle and it's like but as I got older I grew to appreciate them a lot more just to up my uh, Pokemon's level a bit you know Pewter City Pokemon Gym Gym Leader Brock the Rock Solid Pokemon Trainer I always wonder uh, in a lot of the Pokemon regions like uh, you know uh, Faulkner and Johto, Brock here in Kanto, and Roxanne and Hoenn, those uh, few first Pokemon uh, gym leaders, do they always have to make sure they have like relatively, because they're gym leaders, obviously they should have more powerful Pokemon, but you would think, uh, do you think they constantly have to have like, you know, level 10 kind of uh, Pokemon? just to make it fair for first time trainers you would think so right they can't have that best stuff up against Pokemon who just started now this is it'd be a little unfair hiya you're here to challenge the gym leader aren't you I'm not a trainer but I can tell if you're worthy of a challenge the but I can tell if you're worthy of challenging the gym leader now let's get started the Purity City Gym only allows trainers who know type matchups to enter. There are a few types that have an advantage against Gym Leader's Rock Pokemon. But for trainers who have never challenged a gym before, we have them use either Grass or Water type Pokemon. You have to show me a Grass or Water, Pokemon, water type Pokemon if you want to face the Gym Leader. Great! That Pokemon is exactly what I wanted to see. Head on in and aim to become a Pokemon Champion. Oh boy. You are challenged by Picnicker Amira. G.O.D.
and the people they hire to help them with the gems, I'm assuming they constantly have them relatively, like, not weak, but just keep them at a, you know, beginner type of level for early challengers. Because they definitely should be stronger than this, considering that, you know, the, uh, well, when hiring certain uh, trainers to help you run a gym, they will have to be, you know, uh, decently strong in their own right to be worthy of that rank. So, when hired, they probably have to use Pokemon in order to make it fair, right? Potions. Alright, let's do this. So, you're here. I'm Brock, Pewter City's gym leader. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how rock hard my willpower is. Gross. My Pokemon are all hard as rock and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock types. <laughs> you're going to challenge me even though you're going to challenge me even knowing that you'll lose that's what a trainer's honor demands so be it show me your best Wakanda forever go Geo dude I was about to use a uh, growth, but I don't think it's necessary. Go! On it! I remember in the anime when, uh, as challenge against challenge Brock, uh, the BS that picked you beat Onyx, all because he exploited the sprinkler system that uh, weakened him enough to conduct the electricity to affect Onyx. All that was still BS. Can't say it wasn't clever, but it's like it shouldn't have had affected Onyx that much. As proof of your victory, take an official Pokemon League badge, a Boulder badge. Yeah. You've got a Boulder badge from Brock. With a Boulder badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you. Without question. Oh, and wait. Take this with you too. You got a TM01 headbutt from Brock. If you see, if you use a TM or technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon the move within it. A TM can be used as many times as you like, so use it on any Pokemon you want. TM01 contains Headbutt. It deals damage to your opponent's Pokemon by ramming them with a head as hard as a rock.
There we go, Pikachu. Every so often you gotta check out on your Pikachu. Hey you there, newbie! Don't tell me. You've gotta be Carl, right? How do you know that? Cause you look just like my gramps said. I'm blue. I heard from my gramps that two new kids set out from Pallet Town to become Pokemon. To become trainers. Just like I did once. So I came to check you out. I was thinking you might want some advice on how to beat the gym for an, from an expert trainer like me. But looks like I showed up too late, huh? Seems you're not too shabby yourself. So I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. You got five great balls from me. Those would be even better for catching Pokemon than plain old Pokeballs. And hey, the thing you got there, that's a Pokedex, right? So Grimms finally went and made one. He used to make me just scribble on a map with a pencil about where I where I encountered Pokemon. You better do a good job helping him out. He may be a professor oak to you, and sure, he's an old coot, but he's still my Gramps. Smell you later, newbie. Yeah, eventually, um, probably a little bit. Of, when when I'm get to Vermilion City, by that point I'll probably start using more uh, great balls and and uh, selling off my regular poke balls. I should go to the Pokemon Center just to make sure my Odyssey's uh, PP skills is up to snuff. There's so many good, uh, pleasing sounding music coming from the Pokemon games. And very recognizable. Like the. So long, Pewter City. Route 3. I'm go ahead and uh, I'll take the up front now. Obviously, I'm not going to keep Oddish or uh, except for my Pidgey and my Pikachu, everything else I'm going to eventually uh, store in my uh, Pokemon uh, storage system. Crap. this gun with Pidgey in the first place.
double team probably more effective and maybe slightly useful than uh, tail rope. Takes my gust attack. Bring it on, you little punk. I remember when Pikachu took down hundreds of Spearows with that, uh... It wasn't just Thunder Shock, I think it was just, uh, Thunder. Even though he shouldn't have known Thunder at the time, so I could be wrong. It was on the boat at the very least. A lot of people who play Pokemon back in the day, that these kind of encounters made us not want to make eye contact, eye contact with people, you know.
don't like dinner. Oops. And it's so cool that, you know, the Pokemon that comes out of the grass can just go out of the grass if they wanted to and just, not that far, but at least uh, a good significant feet away from the target area. I'm on a road to Viridian. I'm on a road. I want to grab it. That we have been through You will always be my best friend Good friends Are ones who stick together In the sun and in the heavy weather Yeah Time to smile That's how we are Just you and me Till the end I will be with you We will go where our dreams come true All the times that we have been through You will always be my best friend Man, the poker rats back in the day was, but, man, And they, they slapped back in the day So curtains don't uh, do that anymore It sucks I always thought that was so cool. And it's not like gimmicky slock either. It's like they actually put in the effort, you know what I mean? Kakuna Machado. I think we ever caught a uh, Spiro. Let's 
Spiro, inept at flying high. However, it can fly around very fast to protect its territory. Just taking a little rest here. A tunnel from Cerulean City takes a lot out of you. Yeah, definitely, definitely need to up your game before you head to the Cerulean City Gym. Even though I have the electric type, I want to make sure it's as powerful as, as, as Pikachu can be. Fast and just threw money at me? Pick up some extra cash. I remember having a, a Meowth in my party my, 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 maybe my second go around because I played like Pokemon Blue at least a couple of times and I put me off on my roster I remember and usually just to use payday so I can get some extra coin in my pocket to Mount Move from far away because I want a Pokemon I can ride on. That's right, you can ride on certain Pokemon like Diamond. Got to move Pikachu to the back because we're going to be dealing with a lot of rock types there. You know, I seen you know clips of the Pokemon manga back in the day, and you know the manga is kind of hardcore because like you wouldn't think from Pokemon that it can you know get serious if it wants to, like you know uh, certain scenes like if you look up online with the Pokemon manga, there's like certain scenes where like. Certain Pokemon get like seriously hurt, like not blood or gory, but it's like you know things that you never see in Pokemon on the anime or even the Japanese. Uh, if I am correct, I never watched the sub version, but I don't think it gets you know that uh, hardcore. And like the Pokeballs on the uh, manga books, 
you know, except that red part of the Pokeballs is all clear, and you can see the Pokemon inside, in like a kind of like Ant Man with this like miniaturized kind of thing. sitting there and napping. Mount Moon, tunnel entrance. The sleeping Pokemon. Doesn't seem like a Pokeball will do very much while it's in this state. I remember having to use Flash, uh, the f move flash in certain caves just to see uh, through certain areas. And that didn't help much when you first played again. You thought you had to use flash on your main Pokemon, but like me, many people did not consider using one of your lamer Pokemon that you don't use on the main roster to uh, have them learn flash. Because at the time, flash is like HM hidden machine type move that's in the in the past used to be a permanent thing you could not change it and um and i know that at the time and it always bugged me and it bugged a lot of people that you had to use hms they stopped that i mean using hms and it used to be permanent and it's like some of those are, weren't useful in combat so in like recent years they uh, changed all that so that way uh, HMs are treated just like TMs where you know you can use them on any Pokemon you want to and and um, they're not necessarily permanent look there's looks like there's nothing here then let's just search farther in you you were eavesdropping on us just now weren't you Meowth you were supposed to be keeping watch Shane doesn't have him actually use words. We know there's rare fossils buried around here somewhere. If you got any, get. B if you got any, you better hand them over to us, twerp. That's right. If anyone's going to profit off those rare fossils, it's going to be us. Wahahaha. <laughs> Yes, I know how it works.
Paris burrows under the ground to gnaw on tree roots. The mushrooms on his back absorb most of their nutrition. Who's your favorite uh, Pokemon? Uh, well, gang member. Cause I like Team Rocket, they're the OGs. But I do like the Team Magma and Team Plasma. I think they were in Johto. Kakuna's evolving. Kakuna evolving to Beaver. Beaver. It has three poisonous stingers on its forelegs and its tail. They are used to jab its enemies repeatedly. Pedro learned Twin Needle. Before going further, I won't go ahead. So I won't waste any more. Oh, Zubat. So I won't waste any more uh, potions. I'm gonna steal my Pokemon and we'll move forward. How about two banners? Took me away. Oh my god! Son of a bitch! Got you, you bastard! Oh, come on! Got gotcha. you! Stay in! Emits ultrasonic cries while it flies. They act as a sonar used to check for objects in its way.
Oh, that freaking Paris caught me by surprise. Some of my Pokemon, Pokeballs. <laughs> what? Metapod is evolving. Butterfree. Its wings, covered with poisonous powder, repel water. This allows it to fly in the rain. Butterfree learn gust. Oh, a geodude. Geodude, commonly found near mountain trails and the like. If you step on one by accident, it gets angry. Oh, you're pretty fast, kid. Geodude. I probably should win to see how a stronger Geodude. It's only level 7. Or Onyx. at high speeds in search of food, the tunnels and leaves are used as homes by Diglett. Okay. I'm not going to keep Geodude around that long anyway, so...
I know there's probably at least a couple of level 10 Geodudes here roaming around. Super Nerve Jovian. I think my electric attacks will work that well. Sometimes I forget too. Oh, 
I need the uh, the battle experience. It's funny how back in the day I had to, not had to, but I try avoiding battles as much as possible unless I really want to myself. I mean, this is the red and blue days, mind you. I mean, a little bit of the silver and gold era, too. I always love it when Kaferi uses the metronome. That's like one of my other favorite uh, Pokemon attacks. for their cute looks and playfulness. They are thought to be rare as they do not appear often. R, what's that stand for? Robin.
underway. Don't forget the double team. Save those tough candies. I'll probably start. I'll gain eventually all these other different candies like tough candy and stuff, and let them stack up until I get to Celadon City, and start like uh, really uh, advancing. Because by that point, I'll have all the Pokemon that I actually want for a great period of time during this uh, gameplay. So that's when I'll beef up the Pokemon I actually want. In case you don't know, the reason I'm repeating it, repeatedly catching the same stuff all the time right now is because I'm trying to catch as many, like at least up to the point, like in between 40 to. Uh, when I get Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle, I'm required to catch like you know at least up to 40 and f to then to 50 and then to 60 type. Uh, not this not totally different just have caught in general 40 50 then 60 Pokemon so that way like certain uh, 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 characters will uh, uh, allow me to have uh, those three starter Pokemon so I do it for the time being.
Chansey, a gentle and kind-hearted Pokemon that shares its nutritious eggs if it sees an injured Pokemon. How do she know that the Pokemon isn't lactose intolerant or something, or allergic to eggs? I mean, it could be possible. You never know. Nugget. First, I'm moving.
five. You know, swing it as fast as can as you can before it starts darting around all over the place. And that's true for all flying types. might reserve playing dark, uh, wrapping up Dark Siders to uh, uh, Sunday evening. You notice how like Pikachu's tail wags like that, like so much. That's when it indicates when the item is nearby, visible or invisible. Just so you know. Aren't those dark colored things fossils? All right, Mia, get those fossils. Quit goofing around and go already. Chuck of levitating stones around the opposing team. Chuck Hurts of course is Pokemon that Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. I've seen that happen in action in, in like a few uh, 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 Pokemon anime episodes. And it was devastating. So I was like, I wanna make sure I use that.
Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. Okay, I'll share. Fine, we'll at least take a fossil. It's no good being greedy, right? I'll go with this one. I don't really care for like Helix. Uh, Cause the evolution of Kabuto, I like the design. Yes, Doom Fossil. Stop right there! Hands off, that fossil belongs to us. Ugh, how did you even get here ahead of us? We're Team Rocket. I'm Jesse. And I'm James. Yeah, that's right. And the two of us are going to take that fossil back. Prepare for trouble and make it double. To protect the world from devastation, to unite all people in our nation, to renounce the evils of truth and love, to extend the reason of the stars above. Jesse, James, Team Rocket blast off at the speed of light. You have now prepared to fight, fight, fight. Meowth, that's right. My butcher net here and there, but you have to set them up.
Okay. Looks like Team Rock is blasting off again! Round 4, Mount Moon, Sabrina City. Thank you, my mink. Agile Pokemon that lives in trees. It angers easily and will not hesitate to attack anything. Cerulean City. Finally. Cerulean City. A mysterious blue or. Yeah, I had it right. Cerulean City, a mysterious blue aura surrounds it. The fountain is shooting out water. You want to throw money into the fountain? Threw five hundred dollars in there. Wouldn't make any sense. video here. Next time we'll be battling the Cerulean City Gym Leader, Misty. Uh, thank you all for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Have a great weekend.